So this is pre-calculus, and this is the practice assessment for topic 9. And we're supposed to write a parametric equation and a Cartesian equation for each of these graphs. And we're also supposed to note the eccentricity. Notice i got three things to do here. So um, I need to know my A, B, and my, my A and my B values. And one of them I know, um, here's my center. So I know that this distance out to the vertex, that's my A. Uh, from negative 12 up to 0, that's 12. That's 12 long. And this here is my focus, so this distance right here is my C value. So negative 12 to 1, that's 13. So C is 13 long. So here's what I know so far. There's my center. So uh, in my Cartesian equation, I have x plus 12 squared over, oh, and it's in x direction, so uh, 144. And that's going to be minus y pl minus 7 squared over something that I'm not sure what it is yet, but I'll figure it out, equals 1. I know it's x squared minus y squared because it's going this way. So now I have to figure out this c value. Uh, before I do, I might as well write what I know about the, uh, um, the parametric equation as well. So I also know that I would have um, x, since it's going in the x direction, it's going to be the secant part. So it should be negative uh, 12 plus my stretch, 12 uh, times secant t. My y value is going to be 7 plus some multiplier, that b value when I find it, of, of tangent t. So let's find it. Um, I know that c squared is going to equal a squared plus b squared. Remember, that's the, that's the opposite of the operator that's in the, that's in the Cartesian um, equation. Uh, C is 13, so this is 169. A is the same direction as the focus, so that's 144 plus B squared. Uh, subtract 144, it looks like B squared is 25, so B must be 5. Great, so that means there's a 25 here, and there's a 5 here. And last piece that I need is the eccentricity. And the eccentricity of this is C over A. So it is 13 over 12. And it makes sense that eccentricity is greater than 1, and I have hyperbola.